Yo, what's up guys? Last siege of the season. Let's see what we do, what we get. We're playing uh, Baba Yaga Drizzle or something like that. And we are playing Map Unleashed. So currently we're ranked 24. That means we're, we're not placed for the tournament. But as you can see later on, well, spoilers by the thumbnail. Um, the fight went a pretty weird turn and we just were able to fool around. So what do I do if we can fool around? I fool around. So yeah, we got a few fights. First few are a bit more try hard and then we get into the more fun stuff, I guess. So yeah, uh, really typical. That was actually pretty fast beta that's on Vaya outspeeding my Tiana. Tiana in this current state is not the fastest Tiana I have, but that's uh, well, it's just something that uh, doesn't happen all too often. That thing also surviving 39 or 36k, not bad, not bad, but does really man it doesn't really matter damage Tiana very easy they were using some weird stuff with like Phalantis I've never seen this team in this combination I'm not sure if it's necessarily really good or they were just lacking uh, what's it called Carcanos because if you put a Carcano on the lead slot it's a lot better so yeah I guess that's something but <laughs> Yeah, I think this team in this setup is not too great. Well, also this team just hard to accomplish everything. So that's also kind of unfair, but yeah, is what it is, right? Is what it is. Triple, triple. We're going for the triple one. That was almost a triple as well. So yeah, pretty easy win, pretty easy win, like always, right? No, nothing special, nothing special. So this team, I f uh, fight it all the time, but I actually wanted to test something new. What if I actually kill the Carcano first, instead of killing the Molly first? Because of the Carcano, you still, it adds some damage, and killing that might be safer than killing the Molly. Of course, you're gonna have to have the rotation into the Reckless right now to kill anything, whereas with the other one, I can just start like slowly chipping and killing stuff. This case is not the case, but it is easier to heal to max HP with this. Um, this way of killing rather than killing the Molly first. It's just gonna take some good time to actually get to the point like, okay, where can you Bolfric S3 into Molong S3? Because I could S3 here, but then you need to have the Reckless up, which happened in this case. And I'm not sure, I guess this is actually safer than the other way around. I'm not 100% sure, like normally I did kill the Molly first, but I feel like this is pretty pretty doable as well only thing you need to have is a very tight tuning that your mo long moves like pretty much right after the ball break. that's that's about it and then you're pretty pretty much gucci pretty easy one pretty easy one yeah sometimes mo long dies but it's just important that your mo long is pretty tanky but mo long is actually not that tanky and another pretty typical team so just gonna keep this speed up the main thing you want to do is just reset the uh what's it called Okay, we go three times. We reset the Savannah all the time and then it makes it a lot easier. Actually, this Molly was moving after the Thessarium. If there was the other way around, I could have had issues, but not too big of a problem. The only thing with this team is it's pretty important that you have max accuracy. That, that's just very important. I've seen some people uh, go into this with a Lulu, which is a good replacement for the... Um, because you have more cleanse, so it's actually better than having the Wusa in here. Only issue is then they lack accuracy. So if you lack accuracy on this team, yo, you're not landing shit, you're not landing the pushbacks. It's gonna take forever, you might lose. So you need your accuracy to actually do this team properly. If you don't have an Accu-Lead from Wusa, you're gonna need your accuracies from something else. My typical a lot of damage team that but all of my guild is still like, why is he still using it? It's so unsafe. It feels so unsafe. Well, maybe a little bit, but I kind of like the team. I don't know. It's just a fun team. It does so much damage. Counters. It's weird that he doesn't start with the um, S2 first. I thought, what's his name? Chandra always starts with S2 into S3. Never S3 and then nothing. I don't know. But yeah, the skills 
it's a lot of like artifact damage. This whole team is just artifact damage. Without artifacts, this team could have never worked. Well, they also have crit damage, of course. But... So the moment we got like later in the fight, we were fighting more like off meta kind of stuff or like old meta kind of stuff. So I haven't fought these in ages, but apparently that uh, Odin is pretty squish. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure if this team is any good, like, ever. I don't know, like, I've seen this team work, like, a few times for some people, but... Of course, MSF is, or MST is also a really hard counter to it, but... I feel like there's a whole bunch of ways you can actually hit this, like, over and over, and there's n not, too, not too much to it. Not a biggie, not an issue. Easy kills, always, any days. Actually, my Shine and Martina are not ruined that good anymore. They used to be ruined really good, but they're no longer in defense, so they don't get priority runes, so... They're not as good as they used to be, they're just... Kind of efficient rune, no crit damage, crit rate, slot force, just a lot of attack HP speed. And then a full team I never used, but I double mount recently, except the uh, Valagio. I think the Vela was double mount before, and I think it's also missing a rune, or... Having five Vio runes or something because I was pretty sure that one used to be on Vio. Will. Will is my in main case. But either how this thing of him didn't do too much. I was actually unimpressed by the damage of that Feng Yang. I don't know. I kind of expected more for some reason. Velajul is doing a decent amount of damage actually. No armor break. 18k's on the Furner. 7k's on an armor break. Okay, that's not that bad. So yeah, that thing just killed himself. But. For some reason, I was still expecting more damage. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is a, a Feng Yang that does quite some damage, or you'd be like, yo, man, doesn't do too much. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I never use Feng Yang. It's... I was never that. I was like, yeah, I need Feng Yang. My... Against net fives for me was always pretty fine, so I never really needed the unit to have the unfair bear to actually win this kind of stuff. So, yeah, for me, it was always fine. But this was also a pretty off-meta team that you can pretty much use anything against it. No armor, like, literally, the team has no armor breaks. How, how can this guild be like, yeah, let's put in a team, no armor breaks. We have some weird-ass strip, half a sustain. Um, totally gonna work. Totally gonna work. I don't know, man. This this defense, it was some backline stuff. But even backline stuff, you want to have something decent there. That you'll be like, okay, at least it can take a win here or two or surprise a person here or two. But this did not. Okay, now we're going into the weird shit. I think I should have ruined this Laika with the absolute max stats I have. I went in kind of lazy. I was like, can this Laika potentially solo this? It's going good so far. Like, if he keeps countering everything, he actually has potential. That was a double no counter and that's... I had to. I, I would have had to add more uh, life drain on the. Uh, yeah. So no, it didn't. Nope. So I'm actually going to try this again. Add maximum life drain on artifacts. Give it the best um, uh, runes I have with destroy and vampire, and I think it might actually work. But I. Th I think it's really important to have the maximum amount of life drain possible and then it will do good. Because if you don't life drain back to full, they don't have too many multi hits besides the S2 or Savannah. If you counter 50%, it might happen that you don't counter three ti four times in a row and then you would die. But if every hit actually gives him back to full HP, it might happen. So for this case, really bad showcase. It looked good at the start, but they were like, nope. I am going to try this again, trust me. Probably not in the Siege tournament, but the moment we have like the first week of Siege in like three weeks, I'm totally gonna try this again. So we were able to clown around, so let's clown around a bit more. We're going Miho. Yeah, this was... Yo, yo, you proc into S2, you crit on the first, but not on the second. Yo, yo, why, why, why? I think still winnable. A little bit, kind of. Well, that procs into kill, procs again, procs into kill. Okay, uh, if he didn't have that many procs, then I think we could have been fine. But and if that Dover did a little bit more damage, rip, <laughs> rip. 
So the map was looking like this at some point, so therefore I was clowning around. We were blue mapping. So for more clowning around, that also means mirror. <laughs> so let's mirror this thing. Okay, perfect turn order. We have the Savannah moving after the Kinky. <laughs> Zero armor breaks, which actually does make a lot of sense on resistance lead with a 22x Savannah or something. So same thing for him. Yay, we're able to kill. <laughs> oh man, this this team, this team. I was just using it like, yeah, everything is high efficient rune. Why not just use it? So fair enough, right? Fair enough. Actually, having slow buff does reduce the amount of S1 damage by quite a lot. Look at the difference. That was slow buff. I was doing like 1.6, 1.7Ks. No, wait, different element. Wait, is there water reduction? Either how, ch check it back. The slow buff actually reduced the damage by quite some. But yeah. No, 1.6Ks. I think it was 1.2 or 1.4 on that unit. I think there's reduction. Either how. And then we had the fight of match. The team I'm mainly known for against two units. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works out. By the way, trust me, if you use this against me, you would probably hella die. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this instantly working? Is this instantly working? <laughs> yeah, that's... uh. Okay, that's one way to do it, I guess. So guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. We got 20 points in the end. I'm not sure what rank we will be. The thing still has to be updated, but we were like two points behind the top 20. We got plus 20 points, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be rank 15 to rank 20 somewhere. I think around rank 15, 16. So we will see who we have to play. We probably have to play someone that's like top eight so like number five to number eight somewhere around that we will see it will be a more difficult match but at least we're in the tournament so guys thanks for watching like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and see you in the next one